I'm going to use Wireshark to show you what happens when we run that simple client server uh, program. And right now we're looking at Wireshark. It's an open source network analyzer. And currently uh, any or all of the uh, network adapters are ready to be uh, sniffed, I guess, or watched. Um, there's three here. So there's my wireless adapter, there's the uh, loopback adapter, and then my Ethernet adapter, which I don't have plugged in right now. So let's run this looking at what happens on wireless. So we're seeing a TCP packet and TLS. TLS is the transport layer security uh, protocol. It supersedes, uh, I'm going to stop it here. So it, TLS supersedes um, SSL, the secure socket layer. So HTTPS actually uses TLS. Um, you can see there's a DNS request here, and it looks like um, probably my computer was looking up something on Teams at Microsoft.com. So anyway, um, let's clear this capture and let's watch the loopback capture. So I'm going to start this and now I'm going to start my server and now I'm going to start the client. You can see the request and the response. Going to stop the capture, and we got a bunch of TCP traffic here. And um, I'm not sure what the SYN reset is. Maybe that was a failed uh, handshake. Uh, what we do have in this first, well, okay, so the third packet here is a, a SYN packet, and so it's starting the handshake, and then there's a SYN ACK and then an act. So that's the three step or three way handshake. Uh, let's just look at what information we can see in the TCP header for this particular packet. So what I'm interested in here are the options. And it shows you here that the maximum segment size is looks like that's 64K. And Somewhere higher up should be the sequence number, the initial sequence number. So this is the random number it generated, and it has assigned a logical or rather relative sequence number to that, so that's easier for the person using the, the analyzer to, to go through the packets and see their relative order. Okay, so, so we've got the handshake and then the next uh, packet, this is packet six, is a push. And you can see down here, where it's uh, basically a memory dump, I guess, uh, we can see something that looks like request. So let's just look at this packet a bit closer. So I'm gonna go into the ethernet header. And if we scroll down, you can see that uh, there's the source address and the destination address. So I'll close that and I'll open up the TCP packet. Here's our source port number. That's for the client. There's the destination port for the server. And you can see that the sequence number, the relative one, is now one. It was zero before. And that must have increased by one. I didn't note what it was before. And uh, it's acknowledging uh, a previous um, packet that it received from the server. And if we go down a little bit further, we can see that there's a checksum here that'd be a 16 bit value. The analyzer hasn't verified it. I assume that the protocol stack did. And going down just a little bit further, we can expand the data part of the packet and we just see what I believe is a bunch of hex digits representing the ASCII characters for request and followed with a null. So 
uh, that's the request from the client to the server gets acknowledged from the server to the client so the client won't send it again uh, and then the server pushes back a response and I happen to um, you know the the data is spells out response for that that gets acknowledged by the client to the server and then it is closing down the connection so finished with an ACK for the previous packet another fin finish uh, this is from the client to the server acknowledging the finish that it got from the server and then the server acknowledges that it got the fin ACK packet, packet from the client so there you go I'm gonna stop recording